Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization, and I'm here to report in on One Community's progress for the week of April 22nd, 2013. Our organization is open source project launch blueprinting everything necessary to give people a, that are interested in it a way to change the way that they live. And our method of doing that is to provide everything necessary to create complete teacher demonstration villages that will demonstrate self-sufficiency and self-sustainability and to make every component uh, open source and free shared so that people can duplicate the whole thing or just any, any individual piece of everything that it is that we're doing. So this is our, uh, our check-in for, for last week, everything that we accomplished. Um, we continue to open source and update and share all of uh, the information about the, the, the deeper aspects of one community, the fulfilled living aspects, the community contribution aspects, things like that, how, how the whole model is designed to run. And uh, this is something that evolved over 15 years of planning and preparation and discussion about how it would work. And, uh, and so we've updated two major pages in this last week. Uh, Day in the Life page and the Community Contribution page are now up to date, much easier to read, and they link to all other associated pages. And uh, as always, if you're watching this video blog, if you'd like to see the links to that and have easy access to everything that I'm talking about, we do a written blog as well. And I'll put that link in the description down below. So if you click on that, you can link to pictures and everything else related to what I'm talking about. Uh, other major accomplishments in the last week on food infrastructure, we've created a food space planning page, which is the space planning for the aquapinis, the wallapinis, and the zen aquapinis, exactly what can be grown on the sloped areas in the aquaponics, and the, the uh, deep water culture, and the media beds, etc. So all those details are now done as far as what, how, how much space we have for that, and we're in the process of planning out and, and writing out everything that will be grown there. And uh, if you want to see an example of the level of detail that we'll be providing, we continue to make huge progress on the tropical atrium planting plans, which are done. So all of that planning has been done. What we're going to plant, where we're going to plant it, and the details of all those plants. And so uh, in this last week, we formatted over 50 pictures that go on that page that show pictures of each of the plants that's going to be planted there. And then there's descriptions that go along with that. And so we're just in the process of formatting that page, and hopefully we'll be able to wrap that up uh, this week, and then we can add in all the, uh, all the purchasing details. So what is the cost analysis for buying all the things that are going to be planted within there? And so it's really something pretty amazing. Uh, we also posted an Architects of the Future article last week. We wrote it for uh, the uh, Aquaponic Survival Communities magazine. I'm not sure when that's going to be published, but we, we also posted a version of that article on our blog. And, uh, and we've made some pretty big updates to our contribution, or sorry, some pretty big, we finished the contribution, uh, community contribution page, but we've also made some pretty big updates to the uh, education uh, for Life program, the Open Source and Free Shared Education for Life program. And um, that includes completing the images and everything for the contribution and collaboration page. And this week now we've got four other pages that we're working on and hope to get up and uh, share in the coming week. All the research and the details behind the scenes are done, so now it's a process of just getting those up on the website, finessing those details, and then putting it out there so that people with suggestions and ideas can contribute to that globally collaborative free shared education program to make it better and better. And so um, really exciting. We've actually wrapped up, for the most part, we've wrapped up the teaching styles research covering Montessori, Waldorf, Regio, ORF, uh, Eight Intelligences, Bloom's Taxonomy. And so I've just got to get the last couple pages on that. And then we're going to move into the details of uh, strategies for amazing teachers, leaders, and communicators. And so... It's exciting to see all that stuff coming along. Um, and then let's see what else. Oh, we've also two other uh, infrastructure updates. We have finished the final CAD is done for the Sago City Center Hub. And so uh, I'll post that as well. And now we are on to 3D, which is exciting. It's exciting to see this stuff going into 3D and start evolving that. We've also got some 3D images that uh, for the tropical atrium 
as well, although we've got a lot of work still to do on that, but I'll post those 3D images too, because people are usually pretty interested in that to see the evolution of that as we're starting to put the hands together. And so I'll post some new images of that, because those are done also. And then uh, we've got some new Pod 1 Earthbag Village uh, work that has been completed. We're now working on the labor projections, the time expectations, the materials, the tools and equipment needs, and we've created the three open source pages for that. So, which will evolve into once we build the whole Earthbag Village, it'll tell people exactly how many hours you can expect, and based on our experience, how long it took us to build the whole Earthbag Village, everything that we learned in the process of building 75 domes to make it more efficient so that the next group that builds this will be able to do it easier, um, and, and how much time it takes for each component. And so that page is now starting to come together, and uh, we'll finish it this week as far as our initial projections, and then we're going to run those projections by the rest of our Earthbag consultants and get their input on it and just continue to fine-tune it. And then once we get on the property, we'll actually build the whole thing and then fine-tune it even more based on our experience and be able to give even better projections from that point for other people that want to duplicate it. And of course, we'll collaborate with people duplicating the Earthbag Village to see how much time it takes them and bring all that information together in one place that we can have an average based on Earthbag Villages that have been built and just continue to clarify you know, over the next decade. And so um, all three of those pages are up. Time expectations pages now, if you go to the pod one or the Earthbag Village open source portal, you can click on the time expectations page, the materials page, and the tools and equipment page. And you can see the basics of our research that are there. And we're continuing to dig deep into that and, um, and com complete that information so that we've got it all up there. Then, like I said, we'll run it by all of our consultants again to see if we missed anything, fill it out to the best of our ability. And then we're moving on to purchasing details for that. How much will it cost to buy all of that stuff? What are the details? Where should you buy that? Doing all the research to find out the best places to purchase materials and tools and equipment and make the whole process of duplication as easy as possible. And that's what we call open source project launch blueprinting. So that's our update. Check out the blog for all the details. I think I got it all. If I missed anything else, uh, I'll add it to the written blog. And with that, thanks for following our progress. Thanks for following our project. Uh, if you like what we're doing, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash one community updates is our updates Facebook page. Our blog has a running tally of everything that we're doing. We usually do two or three blogs a week on some of the major stuff that we complete. And then of course, it's always appreciated if you like the video to like the video and share it. Uh, spread the word, get the word out, use this information in whatever way works best for you or get involved with our project if you want to help. We're always looking for uh, new partners and consultants and of course members of the Pioneer team. Uh, our group has been drawn together from all over the world. We didn't know each other before we started this project and now in the last two years you know we've built a phenomenal team of really really exceptional people and so if you'd like to work with an elite group and you feel you've got real specialized skills that would apply well in uh, to what we're doing and help us to make it even better faster and to share the whole thing with the world even better and faster uh, please consider getting involved it's great so with that, I'll sign off. Thanks as always for your support and following our project. And until next week, have yourself a fantastic day.